The new pickup wears sharp new styling that makes the Tundra look more conventional and muscular than before. A longer dash to axle ratio and squarer roofline removes some of the stubbiness of the old truck, but the big news, literally, is a massive front grille that's visually linked to the ground via a C-shaped radiator shell, with a blackout panel on the bumper giving the truck a gaping maw of a mouth. Not everyone is sold on that styling element, and some of us prefer the looks of the 1794 edition, which gets a chrome bumper beam to break up the sea of black up front. Chiseled wheel arches add some visual interest to the side profile, as does an integrated rear bumper that ditches the more traditional separate steel unit. Toyota wanted to give the new Tundra a dose of modernity via blacked out A and B pillars, which give the greenhouse a canopy appearance and emphasize its big, wide windows. As before, the Tundra Crew Max will offer a rear window that drops down into the bulkhead, while the not an extended cab double cab gets a horizontal slider. Speaking of, every 2022 Tundra will be either a double cab or Crew Max, with no regular cab available. The Crew Max defaults to a 5.5 footbed, but buyers can opt for the 6.5 footbed that comes standard with the double cab. That model also offers an 8.1 footbed. Both body styles feature four forward opening doors, a feature the previous generation Tundra pioneered in 2007 for easier access to the cabin. Inside, current Tundra customers are sure to appreciate the truck's impressive sight lines and decently low dashboard, though they may be shocked by the amount of technology on offer. The base infotainment system measures 8.0 inches, up from 7.0 inches on the old Tundra, but higher-end models will get a 14.0-inch touchscreen mounted high on the dash. What's more, it finally ditches Toyota's awful infotainment software in favor of a new tech suite that's far more intuitive and responsive. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard on all models, and enhancements like integrated Amazon Music and Apple Podcasts will be available. Styling-wise, the interior looks clean and attractive, with a thick piece of metal tone trim running the width of the dash to visually support the HVAC vents and infotainment system. There's plenty of room in the front row for both stuff and people, with a deep center console providing space for a laptop, handbag, or other daily accoutrement. Side-by-side -side cup holders and an upright wireless charging pad give everything a place to sit, keeping the front row organized. Backseat passengers aren't so fortunate, with seemingly less rear headroom than before thanks to an optional panoramic sunroof, legroom seems excellent all around, though. Thanks to a Tundra first fully boxed frame and coil sprung, multi-link rear suspension, the base engine offers a peak payload rating of 1,940 pounds and a maximum towing capacity of 12,000 pounds. The 2021 Tundra could haul 1,730 pounds or tow 10,200 pounds. However, in spite of its best-in-class power and torque numbers, the 2022 Tundra pales in comparison to the Ford F-150, which can haul 2,230 pounds or tow 14,000 pounds, Chevrolet Silverado 1,500, 2,280 and 13,300 pounds, respectively, and Ram 1,500, 2,320 and 12,750 pounds, respectively.